today we are diving straight into a couple days in my life focusing on creating balance and fitting in those healthy habits that I know that we're all looking for in the super imperfect way that I do it. So I'll be sharing some new small habits that I have been incorporating as well as some changes that I have made to my routine just to like 1% better every day, which is the goal. I'm feeling very sleepy today, but we do have to go ahead and get a workout in. I completed most of my morning routine this morning and then got a little bit cozy on the couch with Pebble because it is literally freezing in Indiana now. I don't know what happened, but we went from having to use our air conditioning to now having to use our heat, which the heat is not on and it's only 63 in our house right now, which is really cold. So I have a blanket on right now and I'm wearing my sweatshirt, but I'm gonna go warm myself up and get a workout in. done i took it pretty easy today i'm not gonna lie i just did some shoulders and arms just because i'm like really tired and really cold and it's monday and every now and then on mondays i don't go that hard which really when you're building like a healthy habit routine when you're leveling up your life i think it is so easy for us to go from level 10 and want to go to level 100 but the reality is like, you can't do that. You're gonna burn out, it's not gonna fit into your life and it just, it's not gonna work. You're gonna stick to it for a week and then you're going to not stick to that healthy habit anymore because it doesn't fit into your life. You're not there yet. Maybe one day you'll be where you wanna be, but you're not there yet. So you have to think incrementally about what can I do? And really just not be hard on yourself. So like if you show up to the gym on a Monday and you don't feel like going super, super hard, it's okay to just walk on the treadmill and do some arms. That is what I did. And that is how I'm able to actually stick to my workout routine is because I'm not always pushing myself 100%. Yes, I, I'm gonna come tomorrow and I'm gonna have a really good workout and I'm gonna push myself really hard. But if I did that every single day, even when I'm not feeling it, I would not be able to keep a sustainable habit. So now that I'm done with my workout, I do have to go and run and get groceries so that I can set myself up for success in eating this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that before it gets too crowded in the grocery stores. <laughs> share just a few items that I picked up with you guys. We've been obsessed with like canned soup recently, which is it the most healthy thing? No, because most of it has like a ton of sodium in it, but it is super, super easy. And this is delicious. I got this last week. Doesn't have that much protein again. You could add some chicken to it, but it is so delicious. I did add cheese when I had it last time and oh my God, it's so good. I also picked up some bananas because once these get super, super ripe, I'm going to make a banana pumpkin loaf. Supposedly it's like the Starbucks kind. So I will share it either here or on Instagram. And then I also picked up some Boston lettuce. This is my favorite lettuce from Aldi. I got it specifically for BLTs. We are going to be making some BLTs on Friday or Saturday, I think. So I picked up some bacon for that as well. String cheese has been a huge thing that we've been eating recently. I love that this is just so easy to grab. One stick has six grams of protein in it. So it's just super easy protein. And then also super easy protein. This is the rotisserie style chicken. I normally pick up the frozen chicken, this stuff, but it's very, very frequently not at Aldi. It wasn't today. So instead I picked up this to pair with this Asian chopped salad kit. 
love salad kits, but there's literally like no protein in this. There's three grams of protein in it. But if you pair it with some chicken, either this or the frozen grilled chicken, super easy lunch, high in protein. And I think that's everything that I want to share with you guys right now. I'm going to continue listening to my podcast and put all of this away. It's actually almost four o'clock. I've gotten a ton of work done today, but it's been like all boring, like editing, writing some stuff on the computer for lemonade and like all that kind of stuff. So it didn't take you guys along too much on it, but I am gonna go ahead and go for a walk now, which has been one kind of habit that I've been incorporating. Yes, I have my walking pad, but I do like to get out and actually like walk outside just because it's so good for you to get out in the sunshine, get some vitamin D, get some fresh air, and just like take your eyes away from like screens and actually look far away from you. That's like such a good thing about being outside and just going for a walk. So I've been just incorporating literally like a 10 to 15 minute walk, nothing crazy. It doesn't have to be anything insane, but just getting a little bit of movement in outside has been super beneficial. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done, throw on a podcast and just get a little walk in before Brandon gets home from work. back from my walk I got like a mile in in just about 20 minutes so feel really good about that but I wanted to share with you guys some of the podcasts that I have recently been obsessed with the main one is the skinny confidential I used to like try to listen to that podcast like a couple years ago and I was just not interested in it I didn't really love the hosts and I just I, I wasn't interested but I recently have started listening to it again and I have been like obsessed with it. And I think the key for me has been only listening to the episodes that like apply to me and I'm interested in. So like if I'm not interested in the podcast, mark it as played so it doesn't show up in my, in the like unplayed episodes and I just wanna listen to it. And it's been a game changer for me. But some other ones that I really, really enjoy are especially for like leveling up my life. Like I do have some fun ones that I listen to, like Too Hot Take. And then One Thing About Us is one that I literally love. It used to be the F Word podcast. But as far as like podcasts to like level up my life, Dare to Self Care is a really, really good one. Jen Lauren gives great tips for like creating the life you want in like a healthy and balanced way. And then The Real Real Podcast with Natalie Barabu, love that one as well. I've been listening to that one since it came out. And then also the Busy Blooming podcast, I also love that one. When Tess is consistently uploading it, it's not always the most consistent podcast in the world, which I totally understand. She has a lot on her plate. That is kind of my like roundup of like podcasts and what I really enjoy listening to. And podcasts and also audiobooks are just such a good way to like get ideas into your brain that you wouldn't have thought of before and just make those small, simple adjustments so that's been with the skinny confidential they share like tons of different ideas on like how to level up your life with like wellness and just habits and being entrepreneurs and I just love that so much because you don't have to take everything but it's great to just be able to take those small things Brandon should be home in just a little bit and then we're just gonna have dinner and relax it should be a good evening he's home Bella I did not get the same kind that we normally have because I didn't have any.
about to go ahead and walk through my night routine, which I thought I would share a few things with you on. I used to not have like much of a night routine at all. I literally would brush my teeth and that was it. But I started incorporating flossing and then from there I started incorporating mouthwash and then from there I started incorporating washing my face and then from there I started incorporating using some moisturizer on my face. So it's taken a while but I don't feel like I have at least a somewhat of a routine built up. And one tip that I do have for you guys is especially with routines that are centered around products, it's really easy for us to go out and spend like a ton of money creating this like dream routine but not sticking to it after that and then we just basically wasted a bunch of money so one of the things that I do when I first start the routine I buy something cheap so I got this at Aldi it was literally like five dollars is it the best ingredients no is it really doing a whole lot for my skin maybe a little bit but not as much as it could but it was five dollars so if I didn't use it it wasn't a waste of my money. So now that I have built the routine, I am now switching to something that's a little bit more expensive. Obviously, CeraVe is not super expensive or anything. This was only $20, which in the world of facial care is not that much. But now that I have the routine in place, it's actually worth me spending the money on. And I know some people, it works the other way where they like want to spend a ton of money. Because they spend a ton of money, the routine will then stick. That's kind of what I did with YouTube is I bought the $700 camera and then was like, well, now I have to make YouTube videos. So I get it. But for me, I don't like to do that with most things. I understand if you do. Whatever works for you, you gotta do what works for you. All that being said, I'm gonna dive into my little skincare, oral care routine for the evening before winding down. It is the next day. I'm feeling very sleepy again today. I don't know if it's just the weather or what, but I don't want to get off this couch right now. But I did just finish the book that I was reading. As I'm trying to get back into reading, because I have been in an absolute reading slump recently. In a previous video, I was talking about how I'm reading The Obstacle is the Way, and that was a recommendation from the Skinny Confidential podcast. So I am currently reading that, but I'm in the middle of it. And this weekend, I started The City Baker's Guide to Country Living because I literally Googled like books that give Gilmore Girl vibes, and this was one of the books that was listed. I just finished it and I did very much enjoy it. It was like a little bit too talking about like baking. Like there was just a lot of baking because the main character is a baker. So I didn't love that, but like it was a pretty good book. I would give it like a 3.5 stars. Like it was definitely not bad. It was an easy read. I mean, I, I, like I said, I started it this weekend. So definitely got me back into reading again. And then I am continuing The Obstacle was the way I just really wanted to finish the other book today because I needed to tie up all of the storylines and whatnot in my head. And then on my TBR, there's a couple books that I am very, very excited to read. Again, these have been as recommendations from the Skitty Confidential. I've been going back and listening to all their old episodes. So the first one is Discipline is Destiny. That was just kind of casually mentioned. And then the other one is The Third Door. And I'm super excited to read that because Alex, the author, was on, like, they did a whole episode with him on the podcast. And his story is just super interesting. And that book is all about, like, how did people who did really great things like how did they get their start and how do you start a business how do you start like a empire you know so I'm excited to read that one with me doing content creation like I don't want to just be doing content creation forever like I really want to become an entrepreneur and like 
start something. I just feel like learning from other people and how they got their start is really, really beneficial. Those are the books that I have been reading and I'm excited to read. I will also be choosing another nonfiction because I do like to have like, no, I'll be choosing another fiction because I do like to have a fiction and a nonfiction book going at the same time. And most of the time in the mornings, I will read my nonfiction book. And then in the evenings or on the weekends when I'm reading, I'll read my fiction book. So that's kind of been the vibe recently for reading, but I gotta go get a good workout in. I don't feel like it, but I'm going to anyways. Let's go. I picked up an Olipop yesterday at the store. I've never actually had an Olipop, but I got the Dr. Pepper ripoff, Dr. Goodwin, and I thought I would try it with you guys. This is definitely an impulse purchase, proving that I am not perfect and I do impulsively buy things. This was like $2 and like 50 cents or something like that, which is ridiculous for one can, but whatever. We're gonna try it, we're gonna see what it's like. I do love some probiotic support. With all the research I've been doing on lemonade, I'm finding out how important your gut health is. So protect your gut. Will I continue buying this? Probably not, because it's like $2.50, but we will try it. It's very cherry -y. I feel like this is like cherry Coke. Like it tastes more like cherry than Dr. Pepper to me. It's not bad though. Like I don't hate it. It's not quite as fizzy as like normal soda, but the taste is not bad at all. Like I would definitely try other flavors of this. So there you go, Olipop is not that bad. I won't even say not that bad, it was actually pretty good. So I'm going to finish this, but I do think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here with the reminder that whatever healthy habits you're trying to build or whatever new routine you're trying to create, always make sure that you are trying to fit it into your current life because if it doesn't fit into your current life, you're not gonna stick with it. So hopefully I inspired you on some small ways that you can like incorporate new routines or build new habits. Also just thank you for spending a couple days with me. It's always fun to vlog and take you guys along on life. Hopefully this video was a little bit longer than what they have been. My videos always end up being about 12 minutes long and I really would like them to be closer to like 20 minutes long because that's what I enjoy watching is like longer videos. So hopefully this was a little bit longer without being boring. And I guess with that, I will see you in the next one. Bye.